an American icon, Dr. Cornell West. Come on up, Brother West. Blessing to see you. Indeed, 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 indeed. Let the word go forth. We're on the move, Bernie Sanders is on the move. We are in it to win it. I see I got my young brothers here that they got uh what did they say? What did they say? <laughs> Will you feel the burn for Palestine? Brother Bernie Sanders. He recognizes that a precious Palestinian baby has the same value as a precious Israeli baby. We are in this with everybody embracing peoples who are wrestling with injustice. We can't stand anti-Jewish hatred. We can't stand anti-Arab, anti-Muslim, anti-Palestinian hatred. Is that right? Are we in an universal? Well, all right then, all right, let, 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 let me give you all a hug too, though. <laughs> let me give you a hug, let me give you a hug, because we got place for, we got room, oh, excuse me. No, we got, we got serious room for everybody. We just want to keep it on a high moral and spiritual level. That's the key. Because let's just be honest about it. This is a very, very dark moment in terms of what's happening in Paris. There's no doubt about it. Anytime an innocent person is killed. For me, that's a crime against humanity. Absolutely. I don't care if it's in Tibet, I don't care if it's in Guatemala, I don't care if it's in Ethiopia, I don't care if it's in Gaza, I don't care if it's in Tel Aviv, I don't care if it's in Des Moines, Iowa, or the south side of Chicago. That's Woo! what Bernie Sanders' campaign is about. That's what it's about. It's not just a political campaign, it is a democratic awakening and it's predicated on serious moral and even spiritual, for those of us who are still religious, those of us who are still tied to pre-modern narratives. You can be Judaic, you can be Buddhist, you can be Hindu, you can be even Christian like myself. But the deeper question is, are you willing to tell the truth and the condition of truth is allow justice to speak? Are you willing to actually engage in unapologetic love? And we know justice is what love looks like in public. Amen. Oh yeah. That's why every place I go, I want the world to know that in the midst of the American empire, there is an awakening taking place because 1% on 42% of the wealth, that's wrong. 22% of our precious children of all colors living in poverty in the richest nation of the world, that's wrong, that's morally obscene, it's spiritually profane. And 40% of our precious red children. Let's not forget our indigenous brothers and sisters. They don't even have to be in the room for us to be sensitive about their suffering. Similarly so for the black and brown children. 40% living in poverty. Who else is talking about poverty at the level of insight, vision than Bernie Sanders? I don't know anybody other than Bernie Sanders who's doing that. And we know how truncated American electoral politics actually is. Because establishment politics, for the most part, is legalized bribery and normalized corruption. Yeah. Bernie Sanders is a brother from Brooklyn and Vermont who exemplifies an integrity rare in American politics. Let's just be honest about it. Yeah. Entertainment. The establishment in, in, in the media, truncated discourse, right-wing propaganda, Fox News, <laughs> milk toast neoliberal propaganda, MSNBC too much, but not always, not always. We got Brother John Nichols and a few folk trying to hold on. Yeah. But they know they're cutting against the grain. I don't think neither one of them treated Bernie right yet. I don't know about you. The press has not been fair to our brother. They haven't been fair to him. Look at Donald Trump. Every time he has a tweet in the middle of the night, you got, we got to find out what it is. I'm not interested. I'm interested in what, what Bernie Sanders has to say. Yeah. Then we move to our capitalist economy and people say, oh my God. Bernie Sanders, he's a democratic socialist. He can hear echoes of the red baiting of McCarthyism and the Cold War. I 
don't want the world to know Martin Luther King Jr. was a democratic socialist. Albert Einstein was a democratic socialist. <laughs> Helen Keller was a democratic socialist. <laughs> and I hear Hillary, Sister Hillary, and the others talking about, no, I want to be pragmatic. No, one of the founders of American pragmatism, John Dewey, was a democratic socialist. <laughs> Don't confuse opportunism with pragmatism. <laughs> Neoliberal politicians are too opportunistic and they involved in evolving. I can't believe in same-sex marriage today, but I evolved and I changed my mind. No, you checked the poll. That's what you did. <laughs> TPP is the gold standard and the secrecy in the very process itself needs to call it into question. But now all of a sudden you change your mind, you evolve. No, don't give evolve a bad reputation. <laughs> We want somebody with integrity. We want somebody with vision. We want somebody who's going to be themselves because they are themselves and they have such a wonderful self to be. That's why we're here. Last but not least, we know Ber Brother Bernie tells us day in and day out, and he's so right, that he's not an isolated politician. He's part of a movement. Yeah. 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 And don't even confuse a movement with a campaign. Yeah. We are a movement bringing pressure to bear on a decrepit political system, on an economic system that has failed us, on a criminal justice system that seemingly still can't keep track of those who engage in either it murdering fellow citizens who are innocent, disproportionately chocolate and never go to jail, or Wall Street executives who engage in crimes of market manipulation, insider trading, fraudulent activity and predatory lending, not one of them go to jail. This is a movement and it spills over into a campaign to push our dear brother across the finish line. Yeah. Oh yes, and let the 1% know, we don't hate rich folk, we hate greed, we hate avarice, we hate lack of accountability and lack of answerability to those sly stone call everyday people. Yeah. And that's why we all come together. We hate patriarchy. We hate. Yeah. Yeah. Treating our elderly, treating our children, treating our physically challenged and disabled. All those who find themselves pushed to the margin in a more and more oligarchic society, we say time to straighten our backs up, join the love train, call the Bernie Sanders quest for the White House. We going up!